Hi, it's Miriam. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a subject that I hate talking, and that is bugs in my plants. I have an infestation of spider mites. I discovered like two weeks ago. I treated them. I cleaned them. I, you know, I put them away like in the bathroom for like 14 days, and then I received the lacewing bugs and I released them. That's what I do every fall, but I only get like 400. I never get more than that. This time I got 800, so I could see them all over the house. <laughs> um, and it is okay as long as I don't have to go crazy treating the plants or getting rid of them. So, yeah, um, I'm going to show you how I release them. I'm going to show you what I had in my plants, how they look. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like my content, like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Again, this is Miriam. Thanks for watching. Things have been rough lately, but I never expected that I would find spider mites. I've been collecting these plants for so long, and I have an infestation of spider mites. Um, I got it from a water propagation. I don't know if this thing could focus so you could see the spider mites. Um, it's all over. I have like, I think, six plants that I discovered so far that is infested. Um, I'm disgusted about bugs and this one was killing this plant slowly I know um, for a few weeks I've been seeing my plants not looking you know too good I was like okay so they're getting acclimated for the fall but this one has a lot you could see it I won't touch it like some people does they touch it on this question I cannot do that if I cannot control this in a few days this will be gone all these plants are gonna be gone uh, we'll put them to rest. That's another one. Uh, another one. So yeah, these are gonna be quarantined in my bathtub, in my bathroom. Uh, this is this is just one of them. Now there is this one. This one has one. Where was that? I pray to God this thing didn't fly because I have a few plants in my bedroom. Oh, I see it. And it is right there. This is another one. This one doesn't have any so far, so I think... I'm still going to treat it. I think I could see. And that's not this night. Now these. <coughs> these are so bad. This one is just one. This is one. And it is like that throughout the whole plant. Now this plant has been so sad. And this is why these disgusting things are eating them. And this one, this one has it too. This one has it. You see that big, large, gigantic one? It's all over the branches. I just repotted this, but it was a Ciba Blue that I had that, um, that got all these plants infected. This one has a little bit, you could see the white spots. This one is just starting. And this one, this one has, where did I see it? It's like this just got infected. You could see it right there. Yeah, I'm really sad about this. This is another bad news, but it's okay. Um, we just gotta continue going and be grateful for the little bit that we have, okay? which is a lot. There's many that I cannot say that I'm alive. When I'm gonna start, it's because the lighting here is terrible, but this one is totally and completely infected. I don't know how I didn't cut this on time. This plant is going to the garbage. Um, I will not be working on this.
just like a cup of oxyclean and the rest is water it's oxyclean the regular laundry stain remover I figure that if they're gonna die, they're gonna die anyway. So let's try something really strong to see, you know, if he dies. I'm using peroxide at the end after I'm rinsing. And then I'm spraying them with dish soap. That will be the last rinse and neem oil. So let's see if this works. I will keep you posted. Thank you. And this is November 1st. Monday morning, November 1st. The day after Halloween. And this is what we're dealing with. I believe I rinsed most of the um, oxy from the from the soil. I'm just really annoying. Um, but never had bugs in my plants in my life. But these are creepy too. They look like white furry things. It's disgusting. I will repeat um, the cleaning process um, on the 100 plants that I have. They will be placed back where they belong because I, don't, I cannot leave them all in the bathroom. I will not be able to use it. But um, yeah, this is exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to repeat the process and see you soon. This is the infested Cebu Blue. Um, here I am disposing the dirt in case there's any eggs or larvae inside inside this dirt. Um, the other dirt were treated with peroxide and soap to see whatever is there die. Whatever is left, the lace wind bugs will destroy it. I believe that they will be bored after just trying to find what they're going to eat next. Yeah, so here I'm cleaning every single, the roots, and then I will separate every single one of them and, you know, plant, plant I want to plant this plant in a plastic um, pot with clean soil. Okay, so here we go again. We have... Um, another delivery from Arabico Organics. I have more lace wind bugs to throw them. i um, having an outbreak of um, spider mites in my plants. This is the first time that I get any kind of pest in my plants. I'm just experiencing a lot of problems in my apartment. So here they are. I'm going to start releasing them and I'm going to record. I'm going to show you again how the plants look now after um, the treatment in the summer and now this treatment in the fall, almost winter. These ones are different. This is not like the other ones. This one comes in this and the the lace wind bug is in there. So what I gotta do is just peel, peel this, this paper back off, any of the papers back off, and then tap little corners in my soil. And yeah, I have a lot of them. I have two of them. There's 400, 400 in each one. So I have 800 this time. Mm. Let's see if I can oh, the warmer. I'm gonna see if you could see. Uh, don't excuse my mess. I'm cleaning a closet, and but I need to release these. Uh, you could see them. They're right in there. Okay, so I had mold in one of my classes, so I had to empty everything and had to clean all my shoes and everything. So here is one of the first plants that I'm going to throw in. Here. I'm going to peel this off. And there you could see. Yeah, they stuck to the paper too.
And the way that I do it is I turn it around and I tap it on top of the plant. So whatever is there is going to go inside this one. They will fly to the other plants too. And then uh, this one. And that's the way I do it to all of them. I cannot record myself doing this on all the plants. Um, I don't have no not a good angle to do this. Um, but you get the idea. All you're going to do is peel this back off. Reveal the lace wind bog and then tap it on top of the plant. Okay, so if you made it to the end here, you could see a few of the um, lace wind bugs on a piece of paper crawling. Um, if you like my content, like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. See you soon. Thanks for watching.